must leave Siwa. There are others to whom I must deliver justice. Especially the one known as the Snake. How will you find these men? Aya has been tracking them in Alexandria. I must find her. She said she would be visiting her cousin at the Great Library. Great Library? And she said if you are coming to tell you one word. Serapis. Serapis? The god that Greeks and Egyptians share. Of course, I see. And Bike, do something about that beard. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Me that. The thing is, the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The Animus is rejecting you. Uh, I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's Medical Officer Geary to you. So? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. If this doesn't convince Abstergo to give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. Oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest, Abstergo? Don't start. You know, they're not gonna be happy with how he handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. Anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. Got the cyclosporin. Two CC should do it. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. One bar. No, half a bar. Going back in. This is so badass. Be careful! protect this great land. Alexandria is where the snake thrives and Aya lives. I must find them both. Yamu. Home to my old friend Menehet. He will be in the temple. He always is. Hello everyone, and welcome to our Assassin's Creed Origins Let's Play. Today we continue our journey with Aya. So it looks like we're actually going to be heading to our objective. It's approximately 2,000 meters away, so we're definitely going to be able to do some sightseeing, check out the scenery, all that good stuff. In addition, it looks like we're also going to have the opportunity to see the civilian population, as well as, unfortunately, some of the military units that we may be fighting against during our time at this particular location. From the looks of it, they don't quite look much different than what we had before, but 
obviously we'll kind of find out when we get to see their maneuvers, their weaponry, um, their overall armor value. So I do think it's going to be a little bit more challenging this time around than it was previously, but I also don't foresee there being too many difficulties considering that we are a master assassin, of course. So of course, our finest pleasure to be able to take care of our foes while we work our way from point A to point B. Does look like there's also some wildlife, so we may be able to harvest them for pellets or overall just something to kind of increase our character's health as well as their overall ability to take care of foes. Whoa. Like we might be crossing this water here. It does look to be pretty shallow. From looking at it originally, I wasn't quite sure if it was very deep or not, but. Looks like we also have some ships. This is a little bit different than what we had previously because I don't recall there being like warships. So it looks like we're kind of really in an area that's a little bit more aggressive when it comes to their military presence. And ultimately, they could be warmongers as well. But I think we'll find out as we get a little bit farther. But ultimately, it does look a little bit different than our previous location. While we're working our way to the next 1,000 meters or so to our objective, as we continue to look around, it looks like, again, there is definitely a good military presence, but civilians are kind of everywhere this time around. Uh, they're kind of working the fields, ultimately kind of doing some fishing, so we obviously have a pretty live atmosphere going on. It does look like this may also be a little bit easier to kind of navigate from point A to point B. So I'm kind of really curious to see what kind of missions we're going to be working at. As we can see in the distance, there is a very large temple structure. And so I'm guessing that's going to carry some significance as we work our way through the particular missions. May that be the main mission, but in addition to also the side missions as well. I am coming for you. So we are actually in a very popular city uh, during this time period. Obviously, I'm sure many of you guys recognize the name. Definitely a really interesting time as you continue to look at how civilization has transpired during this particular point in history, but also ultimately the advancements that came out of this particular location, especially with their intellectual individuals. Now, of course, we can't only say intellectual individuals but their military presence was also very well known as well quite a bit of documentation that has been uncovered but ultimately there's still a lot that we don't quite know but it's definitely better than nothing as some particular moments in history unfortunately have shown Serapis the snake will get his answer I wrote this all writings are to be copied by the Great Library. You can't have it! I guess the works of Archimedes, Plato, Sappho, and Aristotle... All I find I am among all is in the scrolls. I find that Thanos talks too much. He has some interesting ideas. Very radical. It's almost a You're right about that. But can't he express... The knowledge of the entire world is at your fingertips. Here, one can reflect upon the oppressive regime under which we find ourselves laboring. The Alexandrian poets, have I mentioned them, are a group of dramatic artists dedicated to promoting free thinking throughout the land. No. All right. Serapis. Now what? Ah, where is Aya? Ah, Serapis. I wrote a tragic comic pastoral epic centered on him. Ah. You're by, I guess. I am eager to see you. What she said. Quickly, follow me. I am sorry, my good fellow. You appear to be drunk. This library is for serious scholars only. 
She is in hiding. Who are you? Ah, interested in Homeric verse, eh? This way, please. I am Aya's cousin, Phanos. Ah, yes, Phanos. Nice to meet you in person. Tell me what is happening with Aya. Why are you being so discreet? Gennadio sent his men on a house-to-house -house search. Often they drag people into the street and torture them for information. Typical of this system we live under. Gennadios. A monster. The Philakitai of Alexandria. He is ravaging the city to find her. And where is she now? I have a very powerful friend, Apollodorus. No doubt you have heard of him. I have not. You will. In any case, he made a hiding place available to Aya after she ran into trouble. But what happened? You do not answer me. It is a mess of political intrigue. She will explain all. Fear not. Look! There's Thanos. He thinks he's a poet. The modern Sophocles. This is as far as I go. The way to Aya is found in the monument ahead. Right there. Have a little faith. <laughs> Never again should we spend months apart. We only have each other. Without him, what? Let us be together. Us two. Each to each. <laughs> I have news. You are scarred by justice. Ah. I bludgeoned Medunamun with this. I hate that we have to do these things. But I am grateful that you did. If I am honest, I took pleasure in it. Mm. I've missed your touch. I have missed touching you. <laughs> I killed as well. Acteon. I hunted him down and discovered a mask in his room. When he returned, I forced him to wear it. Then I thrust this knife through his eye slits. Aya. But I was careless. Another of the masked ones tracked me to my home. It was even more difficult. We have one more. Then, we will be done. <laughs> Look at this. I took it from Acteon. Apollodorus tells me it is a papyrus from the Royal Council. Which means the snake? is in Ptolemy's court. How does this Apollodorus know these things? He has informants everywhere, because of his work with Cleopatra. With Cleopatra? She's been declared a criminal. <laughs> By her treacherous brother, yes. She plans to take back the throne. She wants the snake dead as much as we do. And she trusts me. She gave me this to slit his throat. It's an ancient blade that killed the tyrant Xerxes. A weapon of justice.
<laughs> Ingenious. Ah. I will go to the palace and discover who uses the seal of the snake. And I will use this. You'll find plenty of information in the royal scribe's office. He spends his time at the bathhouse. Go search the palace while he's away. And you? I cannot leave here as long as Gennadios walks the streets. He is determined to kill me. In addition to the snake, I will see what I can learn of this Gennadios and silence him. Discover who the snake is and show him the face of death. I'll meet you at the Paneum when you have killed both the snake and Gennadios. My heart aches until I see you again. As does mine. My love. So let's actually start doing a little bit of reconnaissance here. We actually need to identify where our target is located. It looks like we have a lot of high level individuals that are actually doing protection for him. So we're going to have to be really smart about how we go about this. I may try to focus a little bit more on archery this time around, considering that I think that might be the best way to approach this. If we can deal quite a bit of damage from range, that might make things a little bit easier for us. So let's actually get to a vantage where we can start lining up those headshots, kind of chaining them as much as humanly possible. It looks like his guards do have maybe one individual that's actually utilizing a bow, but for the most part they all seem to be using heavier type of weapons. if we can shoot him in the foot, slow him down just a little bit. We do have an archer that's trying to get a line of sight on us, though, which is not good. All right, so that individual is actually fleeing a little bit. I'm going to actually do a little bit of chasing here. Looks like he might be trying to come up to us, which would definitely be great for us, though. Alright, so we're actually doing getting hit by that, so let's stop getting hit by that for a minute. Alright, let's switch over to our other bow here. That way we can kind of rapid fire when these guys start coming up here. Got one more level 11 kind of lurking down there, so I'm hoping to be able to take care of him in just a moment. So at the moment, I guess we're just going to kind of farm these guys as they slowly but surely work their way up here. Alright, so we got another dude with a bow, which is always exciting. Uh -huh. You guys can see they're actually kind of walking around us at the moment, so... I'm going to spend a little bit more time trying to secure a good little location. That dude actually deflected that, so he is pretty good at what he does. Switch back over to this. Kind of surprised that guy was able to get any shots in there. Not going to allow that dude to call for reinforcements, though. That's definitely not going to be occurring. Got about four arrows left here, so should be able to take care of this guy. Thought he was going to maybe die to that fire, but unfortunately we didn't have a whole lot of luck there. But let's actually go work on getting our kill confirmed now after we took care of all of these foes. Why have you dragged me into the land of the dead? You sought to kill my wife! Your whore of a wife is a murderess, waifly and wanton. I did my duty as a Philagetai, and for this you have taken my life. Is your vengeance above all, O Medjai? Be warned, the Philagetes will hunt you down and exact revenge. 
May the Hidden One walk beside you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. Alrighty here, so let's actually start things off by doing a little bit of reconnaissance. So we're gonna call in our companion here, and it looks like we have several infantry that are currently on the wall. So that should make things a little bit interesting for us. Looks like we got something pretty important down there as well. Alright, so we got another soldier kind of flying on the wall. We have a guard coming over, so we're gonna have to take care of him in just a moment. Wait for him to get a little bit closer, and I think we might be able to perform a takedown once he gets within range. Hey now. Definitely taking full advantage of our hidden blade. Not too worried about guards, I guess, necessarily stumbling upon his body, so we'll just kind of leave him there and we'll proceed onward. See if we can try to make some distance here before this guy turns around to do another lap all right we're probably looking pretty good on arrows at the moment however we should be able to come up behind this guy and perform a stealth takedown as you guys can see we have several archers currently in this tower though so we're gonna have to really be careful of that let's move down a little bit farther with our companion here and see if we can kind of locate maybe where our buddy's at so our target is actually in one of the accompanying buildings. And I have to be very careful of these guys just in case they somehow detect us. However, we should be able to actually venture our way down the steps now, considering that we know we don't need to be on the wall. Hey, hold on. We do have to be careful, considering that we're not really supposed to be here. And so, obviously... The guards are a little antsy, you know, they get a they get a little concerned when they see somebody that doesn't look like them walking around. They're not very progressive, as you guys might have been able to figure out. Alright, so I'm not really seeing anything in here just yet. However, we do have a staircase, which we'll take advantage of. Slowly but surely working our way to the very top here. Alright, so we're going to be doing a little bit of investigative work here. Looks important. Locked. These are... Alright, so we got, let's see, some intel here. The rooms of the royal scribe. As I'm sure you guys see, we do have a guard all the way outside as well. Important. If we can smash it. Fortunately not. We're not going to be able to just brute force it, unfortunately. The ladder. Hmm. Well, that does look suspicious that there's just a ladder that happens to be broken down here. See if we can walk around a little bit more and see if we can identify some stuff. Not really see anything over there just yet. We pretty much checked out the stuff on the table. Thought maybe that might have something to do with damaging that, but not really the case. Still have more items in here that need to be investigated. However, I don't really see a whole lot else outside of the little treasure chest here, but...
see if we can venture around and see if we can find some more information that may give us access to that chest, though. Not really seen anything else over here. Let's see if we can pop this and give us maybe some intel, but it didn't really find a whole lot. Important. Locked. These are the rooms of the royal scribe. Pretty clever, I wouldn't have looked up there under normal conditions. Official papers. This just belongs to the royal scribe himself, Eudorus. False bottom. Letter. Esteemed Ibis, the Pharaoh remains compliant and is our puppet in all things. Act with caution in Siwa. The murder of the Heron was but the first. Two from among us here in Alexandria have also been killed. However, the situation is under control. Canadios is actively questioning the populace. We commend your efforts, Ibis. Long life. Stamp to the seal of the snake. The snake is Eudorus, the royal scribe. I have said that the royal scribe is often at the bathhouse. I will kill that naked ear that Eudorus there. Alrighty, so we're actually going to be heading over to the bathhouse now so that we can take care of our foe. Gotta be careful of that guard down there. Could jump down and assassinate him, but we don't need to be hurting people that are just doing their job, though. However, I don't know how long that stance is going to last, considering that we do have another guy that appears to be kind of in our way. So, question is, is did we... Simply run up here and might be taking care of this guy pretty quickly. Hey, what? Feels like we're being watched. I don't know. I'd say that they're pretty blind, though. Kind of just ran right by them. I feel like I'd be able to see a dude with a bunch of armor and stuff kind of running by me, but no biggie, I guess. We're about 470 meters from our objective. Got to sneak past all these guards at the moment because they are all over the place in here. However, I think if we get out of this compound, I think it'll make our life a lot easier considering that we won't have so many infantry units just kind of walking around. we got a couple of guards here. They should have an opening coming up here before long. Once this guy gets past, I should be able to just sprint right across into this other garden area. And then from then, I think we might make our escape in the actual water itself. Alright, so we're actually going to swim all the way to the other side. And this should actually give us access to approximately the next area. And then from there, we'll actually go in there and we'll kind of visit our friend. Gonna take a nice bath. Bet he's got his rubber ducky, but you better enjoy it for the moment because it won't be something that he'll be doing for very long. Uh. 
Alright, well this is a restricted area, however, I may be able to actually navigate just around it by simply not entering into the area. It does make sense, it's the armory, of course, that's where they store all their weapons, just in case they have any kind of combat that requires them to be fully armed and ready for whatever may be coming at them. Little did they know, an assassin's been running amok in their city, and so far we haven't been caught yet, so we're doing pretty well. Closing in on about 75 meters, so we're getting pretty close here. I'd like to have a look, especially the one meant for heaven. Alright, do you guys think we should knock once or just blow right through the door? Alright, so at the moment we don't really have our main gear, however if you guys see on the left hand we do have our hidden blade, so we're going to be utilizing that to the fullest capacity though. It does also kind of blend in pretty well, so it makes it a little bit easier for us to kind of work our way around here without too much suspicion. Alright, so we have a door here, but we got to get these guards to get out of the way. We don't have double blades or anything, so we're not going to be able to simply take both of them out. We may be able to actually... I'm trying to see if there's a way. I think I see something all the way up there that we may be able to work with. So... Let's actually run all the way over to this other side here. We're going to climb up the statue. Even though it looks very suspicious, they just don't know what's going on. And this guy better enjoy the last couple of seconds of his life because they are about to end. murdered my son before my eyes. You are a fool. At the temple, in Siwa! That forsaken shithole? I had nothing to do with that disaster. It is too late for your lies. Anubis awaits. It is worth the loss to slay the snake at last. Snake. This snake will never die. Son of Apep, the Lord of the Duat awaits. Alrighty here, so we're actually going to head out and see if we can get out the exact same way we came in. Alright, so it looks like we might be able to navigate our way all the way to that front entrance just by using this top area up here. Down there, it does look like there's still civilians kind of walking around, however... 
I'm guessing since they're kind of on high alert that they might be a little suspicious of people that just randomly start climbing from the top. So we're going to try to avoid that. Ladder's really not being a fan with us right now, though. Not seeing anybody currently guarding the very front, so we may be able to just simply exit the exact same way we came in. My dearest. The snake and Gennadios are dead. Oh. It was Eudorus. He died flailing in the baths. I wish I had been there. wondering if I should pull you out. Your adrenaline and BP are elevated, and it's affecting your heart rate and hormonal markings. Serotonin and oxytocin in particular. What happened in there? Aya's here. Who's Aya? My ex-wife. I can feel her nearby. You can feel her? Pretty sure that's the bleeding effect. Along with Bayek's memories, you're, you're also experiencing his emotions. No, you dork. I think she's actually in this cave. Spouses usually share the same tomb. A second mummy? We should really report to Abstergo. Maybe after I find Aya. I I'm gonna call it in if you don't. Deanna, no! If you do it there, well, get no credit. They'll cut me out like always. <sighs> okay. There. What is it? The bleeding effect is leading me to Aya. Oh, great. More fuel for your superhero complex. She's down there. My turn for a leap of faith. Leap of what? You're in no... <gasps> Damn, that's cool. I was right, she's here. There you are, thank God. I can almost taste the blood. Uh, uh, okay, you're making less and less sense, Leela. We need to report. Not yet. Not yet? So when? Well, I can't chew my way out of here. What are you doing now? Climbing. <clears throat> And it's hard, so uskuti, will you? Fine. Let me know when you get to the top. I'm going back in. Why? I took a DNA sample from Aya. I want to see her memories. Look, I get that you're excited, but... the more risks we take, the worse things could go for us. It's my dream on the line here. Let me do this my way. Damn it, my papers went everywhere. Whoops, anything important? Yeah, the notes on the Animus.
Adding Aya's DNA to the chamber. It'll take time to sequence. You won't be able to sync with her memories right away. Layla, something else you should know. Since you're mixing gene sequences in an uncontrolled manner, the transition between memories will likely be unpredictable. I'm comfortable with unpredictability. Yeah? Well, I'm worried. You always are. What is it? A snake. What if he was not the last? Of course he was the last. They are all dead. Justice is done. <sighs> if there's any question, Apollodorus will know. He knows all. And where will I find this man who knows so much? He is with Cleopatra. But find his man first near the Hippodrome. Hey! <laughs> I'll tell Thanos that Gennadios is dead and meet you later.